the lowest common denominator is for folks to immediately go not to a hybrid model. It's the pure mass timber. And they'll say, well, you got to Hartman, you got to remember the constraints. If you're going to do this, you can only go, you know, dot, 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 dot. Fill in those blanks for me a little bit. You've kind of talked about kind of the hybrid model right there, just kind of 21 story building. Are there other relevant constraints that are out there? And how do you kind of handle those if those come up as an objection, Nick? One thing has happened in the background is the change in the IBC codes uh, has been huge. The change that uh, no longer is a timber building going to be restricted to six stories. If you go 100% mass timber, you can now design it across the United States up to 18 stories. Okay. If you start putting the hybrid model in, well, then you can go unlimited in height. Okay. And that, that's where, so in terms of dealing constraints, we already have a rule book in place called the IBC building codes. And, uh, and, and everybody's incredibly pragmatic here and adopting it and it's prescriptive and it works. Okay. Yeah. I'm not so, used to all those adjectives going around code books, but I let's, I don't want to derail the conversation here. Keep going. <laughs> so we, we know the rule book. I mean, in house, what I did was very much, um, put together within mass, a European model whereby brought in a lot of uh, clever structural engineers, mass timber structural mm -hmm. engineers, and we can offer guidance to the engineer record and the architect of record and say, look, you know, this is your building. Mm -hmm. Our job is to put the hand in the glove, the skeletal structure. We'll work with the EOR and we will support him or her in terms of defining the calculations for the structural design in terms of the connection design. So we try and make their life a lot easier. And I think that's so important. You can't come to the market as a pure manufacturer mm -hmm. without that skill set, right. without that. If you're not able to take the client's Revit model, and then we can translate that into the structural mass timber model mm -hmm. and send it back for coordination. And I think the use of technology has really removed those barriers. 